And what I'm here today to share is the five, I call the five zones of health. And we're looking at what, what we call illness and wellness. And we're looking at, you know, these two concepts really appearing on opposite ends of the spectrum. And we can divide these into five zones of health. And I really just want you to watch this video today and really feel into like, what does it mean for you to be sick or well or have disease? So if we have a look at the diagram, you can see the diagram that's attached here. And my question to you is like, what does it mean to be ill? And so if we're looking at five zones, so we're looking at zone one, zone one here on this side being the wellness zone. So this is zone one, the wellness zone, and all the way on the other side, we've got zone five, which I'm calling the illness zone. So between that, we're dividing this around. So if you can imagine, you know, like a, a what's it called? Like a line graph, one side, we've got zone one as a wellness zone. The other side, we've got the illness zone, which is um, zone five. And as we go through the other zones, we've got the wellness zone. I'm going to call this zone two here, which is called the good health zone. In the middle, zone three, we're going to call the comfort zone. Zone four, we're calling the poor health zone. And zone five, I'm going to call the illness zone. So that's the zones of health. Of health. Now, with the spinal flow technique, our whole aim is to actually help people move to zone one, to the wellness zone. It's not about sickness and not sickness, pain and not pain. It's about wellness. How is your body functioning? How, you know, what's happening in your system? Do you have nervous system health? It's not about just having lack of pain, lack of disease. That's not health. We're looking at pure wellness. So that's why I want to introduce the topics today of what is wellness. So if I start with zone one, which is the wellness zone, this is where you feel great. You know, your body functions perfectly. You're energetic. Your spirit's bright. You adapt easily to change. You're dealing with emotions well. You've got regular bowels and you feel like you're recovering well from sleep and life is feeling good. You're in the wellness zone. So we're calling that zone one. Zone two, which is what we're calling the good health zone, is you might have occasional symptoms, but they might disappear with some attention and effort. You know, your body might be slightly changing, so fluctuations in weight or energy, but as long as you take care of yourself, you can return to wellness. So you can see again, that's not quite zone one as pure wellness and, and you know, health and vitality. It's kind of like symptoms are coming and going, and that's what zone two looks like. Zone three, you no longer feel energetic. But, and again, while I go through these zones, really start to think about what zone am I in? If you're a practitioner watching this, like what zone are your clients in? Find out what zone they're in and ask them where do they want to be? It's super important. When I had my practice, that's what I found out from people. I'm like, okay, what's your aim? What do you want? You know, if someone just wanted to be in zone three, I'm like, but why? Why don't you want to be in zone five? Why don't you want to be in a body that feels amazing and incredible? So again, as a practitioner, ask your clients what they want. So zone three, this is kind of zone three, what I said, which is like the comfort zone. A lot of people are in this zone. So it's kind of like you no longer feel energetic, but you're not really lethargic either. You may not be depressed, but you're probably not happy either. So you have like, you know, physical, chemical and emotional strep building in the background of your body, maybe without your awareness, and your body might be acidic and you might just be a bit more susceptible to disease. That's kind of called, you know, a little bit like the comfort zone. It's certainly not zone one, which is the health and wellness and healing zone. Zone four is the poor health zone. And this is where a lot of people that are on here and a lot of our spinal flow practitioner, our clients sit in this zone, the poor health zone. And this is where you have symptoms of poor health. You know, there you may not have a clear pathology and you may not have a clear diagnosis, but you've got vague complaints like maybe stomach aches, fatigue, maybe you're not able to concentrate, you might have random aches, pains, weight that's hard to shift. And if you don't do anything about this, you're at risk of deteriorating into zone five. And so again, like we're looking at this line graph, we're looking at zone one, 
which is wellness zone two, good health, comfort zone, we're coming on this other end of moving towards disease, illness, and I'm going to say it, death. So if you're in zone four and your body's speaking to you, you're not quite diagnosed yet, you're not quite going on, really the idea is to come back through the zones of health. Remember, if your body's gone this way, it can move and go that way as well. So when we look at zone five, that's the illness zone. So you've got undeniable symptoms and you may have a diagnosis from a medical doctor. You might have an autoimmune condition, you might have inflammation, digestive reproductive issues, you may have chronic pain, migraines, emotional stress, and other different symptoms. And so just take a minute now to really feel and think about yourself, like what zone are you in? What zone honestly do you believe you're in? And even if you're a practitioner watching this video or you're wanting to be a practitioner and learn the spinal flow modality, the spinal flow teaching program is all about your own health and healing as well. You know, we start with that. So not only do I teach you the skills to be incredible practitioners, I teach you how to move your own body through wellness so you can be an example for your clients. So please know you don't learn how to be practitioners without learning to heal your own body as well. So right now, I want you to take a moment to really look at what zone are you in? Be really honest. Be really honest with your symptoms or any disease or illness or you know aches or pains that come in. And so just to know what you're in. Later on, you can re-watch this video and then think about what your clients are in. But for now, focus on yourself or even your family. Once you know what zone you're in, honestly, have a think about what zone you would like to be in. Where do you want to be? You know, if you're in zone five, do you want to go to zone four? If you're in zone three, do you want to move to zone one? Or are you exactly happy where you're at? Be honest. Healing starts with you being really honest and really knowing what is it that I want. Now, no matter what zone that you're in, please know that the key point to understanding this is that the loss of health is the issue, not the presence of symptoms. I'm going to say that again. The issue with you being in one of these zones is that there's a lack of health in your body. It's not that you have symptoms. So if we, when we know that we've got a lack of health in the body, we actually know that, okay, to move to the next zone, what we need to do is increase health in our body. That's what we need to do. We need to, rather than going this way, stop, spin around and say, hey, it's time to increase health in our body. And for you guys that are spinal flow students or practitioners, that's what I'm teaching you. How to bring more health in the body, how to bring more healing in the body, how to coach your clients on what they can do to bring health and healing in the body. Let's add health. Now, and how do we add health with the spinal flow technique? You know, we focus on enhancing health. We're focusing on bringing more flow of life force energy in the in the body. Everything we're doing with the spinal flow technique is moving our clients back to zone one. Health, well-being, happiness, abundance, feeling good inside the body. That's what we're looking at doing all the time. And what happens is when there's more health, more healing in the body, there's less pain, there's less diagnosis, there's less symptoms, there's less disease. So a big part of this um, video of me doing today is for you to really understand the loss of health. The loss of health creates symptoms and disease in our body. What we want to do is we want to help our clients heal. How we help them heal is by building health, building health in their system, building health. As more as we flood the body with health and life force energy and wave, where body is decreasing symptoms as well. So that's what I wanted to share with you today. I wanted to, you to really look at the five zones of health. I wanted you to look at this and understand it for yourself and your own healing, but also for your clients so you can take them on a journey. Please know my aim at helping you be the most incredible practitioner is that you hold the space as a wellness coach and facilitator for your clients. And so you can really sit with them and know that, you know, what's happening in your life? What happened for you to create ill health and disease and illness? Like what happened? And really 
understand, emphasize, find it in the body where it's stored, find the stresses, the chemical, physical, and emotional stressors, but also help your clients on a path to wellness and more ease in their system. That's what you know how to do. And that's what I teach you how to do with the Spinal Flow Certification Program. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that this is going to inspire you to look at where you're at and move towards greater health, but also to educate your clients more to let them know that they're important that their health and their healing is important and that you've got an answer to helping them feel better in their bodies thank you thank you for watching this video Mwah. big love to you guys